They are currently two and a half point favorites over New York. Meanwhile, Washington is optimistic they will be able to start Alex Smith at quarterback on Sunday night, making them two point favorites over Philadelphia in this season's final game. And if Washington wins that game, they would clinch the NFC East regardless of the Cowboys outcome. So Shannon, how confident are you about the Cowboys being eliminated on Sunday? Well, I hopefully uh, Alex Smith is able to play. I I'm not going to be nearly as confident, Skip, if they got to play Montez, uh, who's a rookie, and Heineke, a guy that played a couple of games <clears throat> for Ron Rivera while he was in Carolina. So I wouldn't be nearly as confident as I am with Alex Smith. But let's not pretend like this is Alex Smith for five years ago. He's a very, very different Alex Smith. Um, but it's going to come down to skip the defense is going to have to win this game. I think the biggest thing is what we saw Sunday is that don't turn the football over. Don't put the opposing team's offense on short fields. Make them have to drive the ball against our defense. Now, the defense is going to have to play better than what they played Sunday. I don't think the defense played that particularly well. Given what they have on the defensive line, Skip, I, 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 they can play better. And Jack Del Rio, who's the defensive coordinator, he must demand that they play better. Mm. But I believe Alex Smith will protect the football enough in order to beat the Eagles. Now, a lot is going to be dependent on Fletcher Cox. If Fletcher Cox is in there, you know, that might be a whole different story. But this is a different team without him on the, the interior. Mm. Because really now, I can just slide the protection to take care of Brandon Graham because Barnett is out, yeah. uh, <clears throat> the other guy is out. So I, I, I like the Washington football team's chances if Alex Smith is the starting quarterback. I like him. I didn't say I love him. I like him. And I would have felt better had he played last week. But you and I said something yesterday, I, and I tweeted this. When he walked up, when they brought that a quarterback in, Heineke in, I said, that's the end of Haskins. I'm shocked. The only reason they didn't cut him after he did what he did, Skip, Ron Rivera felt that he owed it to his team to try to win this game. Mm. He owed it to him. But after that, after that, that 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 what he that debacle. But we should have saw this, Skip. Mm. Remember his first win when he's supposed to be on there taking a knee. He's doing a selfie on the sideline. That should have foreshadowed of things to come. But I like I like their chances. I don't love. I like their chances with Alex Smith. Mm. I love my team's chances to win the NFC East. I told you last week. I just have a feeling that they're going to win at home against the Eagles and that Washington was going to lose at home to Carolina. Mm -hmm. Now I like my team's chances even more than I liked them last week because I just have an even stronger feeling this is their year to win. Skip, the quarterback is hurt for the uh, Giants. My team has won three straight games. My team has taken the ball away in those three games ten times and given it up only one time. Andy Dalton has seven touchdown passes to only one interception over the last three games. Meanwhile, the Giants have lost their last three, and Washington has lost its last two games. And if you're pinning all your hopes on Alex Smith, I pity you because, to me, in big games past, and you say he's not even what he used to be, yeah. but in his career in big games... Alex has been just another Smith to me because yeah. he's come up small and small yeah. and smaller in big games. Remember him in San Francisco? They had the home NFC Championship game against Eli, the upstart Giants, He couldn't right? get a first down. And he couldn't get a first down, and they lost at home to Eli on his way to mm -hmm. you-know-what. Yeah. Okay. And then he goes to Kansas City, and he went 1-4 and four in the postseason in Kansas City. Skip, they were 18 nothing on Tennessee. They were. And do you remember he won one game against Brian Hoyer, who got the start for the Texans? <laughs> yeah. Remember that? And they won 30 to nothing. Road, yeah. But it wasn't much about Alex Smith. It was just about the Chiefs, and it was about Brian, Brian Hoyer. Correct. Okay, so do I fear Alex Smith against no. Jalen Hurts in his four start? I don't. Jalen Hurts will come up big. He had 411 combined yards against Dallas. And for a while, it looked like it was going to be enough until he had one late turnover, but my team was on fire on offense. Well, I think the thing defensively is that you have to understand, Skip, and the mistake that Dallas made early was they were running past him. He really run past him, and what did he do, Skip? Out the window he goes, and first down he went. So you have to flatten out. Once you get level with a guy like he, Calamur, Lamar Jackson, now you flatten out. Because okay. if you run past him, Josh Allen is that same way. You run past him, you're, in trouble. You, you, you're inviting yourself up for trouble. Okay. But if you look at it, Skip, in the four wins that Alex Smith has, the defense is allowing 14 points a game. Mm -hmm. That's, it's it's going to have to be a low-scoring game. 
I do not believe Washington can get into a high-scoring game with the Eagles. Okay, think of the weapons that Jalen Hurts now has at his disposal. He's got Deshaun Jackson back. Right. Uh, he's got Alshon back, right? Yeah. Uh, wait a second. He still has Greg Ward Jr. He still has Fulgham. Fulgham Ertz, he still has Hurts and Goddard at tight end. And he still has Miles Sanders. Okay, is that enough weapons to beat Washington? Yes, it is. Y'all still got Jack Head over there. And y'all still got Darius Slate playing corner. So I like our chances. Mm. Well, <laughs> but Jack Head got replaced. No, no, no. Put him back in. You got to go back in there. Skip. No, you can't be he got replaced by another undrafted rookie from Baylor who did pretty well in the second half. No, he did. So, the, again, it's against Alex Smith. Alex Smith, last seen when he played in the game Cincinnati. at San Francisco. No, at San Francisco oh, okay, before yeah, he yeah. got hurt. Yes, yes. He hurt his calf. Right. right. He had a QBR of nine and played almost the whole first half. He had a QBR of nine. He, he was he, eight of 19 for 57 yards. I got a feeling he'll be something. He'll have like a 70 mm. plus QBR. And by the way, it looks like, it sounds like, it feels like Zach Martin is going to play for my Cowboys on Sunday. And remember what happened when he did play and moved to tackle mm -hmm. at Minnesota. That was their best game of the year, right? 31-28 yeah. over the hot Vikings at that point. Right. Okay, so what if he comes back and does go to right tackle? It just makes him that much better. Yeah. It's a big upgrade. Off, offers protection yeah. because the, the the any chance that the Giants had hope or really want think they can beat the Cowboys is going to be relying on the mm. defensive line. Okay, and that's to get pressure on on Andy Dalton. Okay, and flip it around. My man Randy Gregory made the Pro Football Focus All NFL Weekly Team. Yeah. as an edge rusher, I told you yesterday. He was sensational Skip, flying he, off Skip, the edge. We, we've seen, we see D. Law make it one week and then disappear for two weeks. Mm -hmm. We saw uh, 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 Alden Smith make it and then disappear. So let's just see if this can stay more than one week. Okay. If D. Law and Randy Gregory show up in New York, I think it'll be a long day for Daniel yeah. Jones. Yeah. He went down six times this past week. Mm -hmm. Okay. He can't move. Well, okay. I, I'm liking my chances. And by yeah. the way, Andy Dalton and Michael Gallup, they got some connection going. They do. You think Josh Allen and Stefan Diggs have a connection? They do. This is a deep connection. This is a home run connection. I got this. <laughs> and I think you are sweating it over there because you're not fighting back very hard. No, 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 no. I, I expect <laughs> you guys to win. I expect you guys to win. But I also expect Washington to win and to make your point move. Mm. That's what I'm hoping. I think you're hoping against hope, and I think it's nothing but... Yeah, no, 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 that's all I got, Skip. Skip, I got a man basically out there that, that had 17 surgeries on his leg mm -hmm. in the last two years. Yep. And that, that's what I'm pinning my hopes to. So I don't really know what else you want me to say. Okay. You got me over a barrel. So I you asked you. me for, you asked got me for my pick. Jalen Hurts only in his fourth start, but I love him in big games, and I think he will come up big in this game because he really came up big at Dallas. It wasn't all his fault. When, when you combine for 411 total yards... That, that's a pretty great day Skip, in your third start in the You NFL. got me, Skip. Okay, you got my family yep. hostage. You mm -hmm. expect me not to give you my pen? You don't yeah. have any family. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> I do got I, family. I got your dog hostage. Yeah, exactly. So right? you down. Okay, Skip. Hey, mm. empty the bank account out. You got mm. me right now. Mm. You got me. You in the that. You in the what we call the cat. You don't know what it is, but you sit in the catbird seat. I don't know what a catbird seat is, but, you but it feels <laughs> real good over here right now. Okay. And I cannot see, wait until see, Monday. But the, you know what? I'm going to come in all humble on see, You see? I'm going to be humble. This humble? is the first time, see, all for the whole year, you didn't gloat one time, mm -hmm. and now you're starting to gloat. So Meant you don't... Be. Okay, okay, Meant see? To be. You see? Mm, you, you say my day is coming. It has <laughs> arrived. Okay. It already came. Okay. We're okay. here. Okay, okay. So Countdown, six days. <laughs> NFC East time. Will we see a humble skip hurt. on Monday? That will be interesting. I'm wondering, Shannon, if you're also sweating about this. Is Tom Brady proving his doubters wrong? And yes, I am looking at you, Shannon. <laughs> we explain. I've got some interesting numbers for you guys next. No,